All right, what's up everyone? This is gonna be a little follow-up video to the video I did on New Main, uh, otherwise known as Kane. But you know, he's still posting TikToks. I think he might still be consistently stealing them, or at least I saw one he stole after I posted the video and like after all the drama happened with it. So I don't really know if he's doubling down on copying content or, or what he's doing on his TikTok, but that's not what we're gonna be looking at today. Today, we're gonna be looking at something by him that I find like even more interesting than him copying TikToks on his TikTok. Uh, which is his YouTube channel where he posted two Q&A videos um, where very interesting things are said. The people that comment hate on videos, they're 12 years old. Now, I think there's like a 1% chance that this is a character he's playing and we all just got got, which if that's the case, um, very funny new main it's actually a very funny bit if it's true but unfortunately i really don't think it is a character he's playing and this is actually who he is now remember in that live stream where he was talking about stealing and copying content and he said this we do. I think these Q&A videos are even more revealing on his mindset behind like creating content and stuff. But above all, uh, they're hilarious. <laughs> they're so funny. Uh, so yeah, let's just, let's get into it, you know? Yes, sir. Now, the first video we're going to be looking at is the first video he's uploaded to this YouTube channel called Why I'm Quitting Social Media. Uh, and right out the gate, sunglasses inside. Look, I don't want to like stereotype anyone, but if you're wearing sunglasses inside, you're... You're a douchebag. I, it comes with the territory. I think at some point in our life, all of us have experienced what an absolute menace a guy with sunglasses inside can be. Like for some reason, it gives them confidence they have no right having. Yo, what's up guys? How you doing? Yo, Bethany, come here. Hey, what up? Hi, uh, what? Hey, hey, hey. Yo, Bethany, come back. Oh, look at the hips. Look at the hips. Woo! Anyway, let's get into the video. <laughs> What's happening, YouTube? I guess this is my first YouTube video in probably like four or five years. If you don't know who I am, my name is Kane Trujillo and um, new main on TikTok, N-E-U-M-A-N-E, -E. yes sir. So yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. Most of these questions came from you guys. Why is he talking like that? What up, Shay Grilly? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Yes sir, welcome back. Shay, today we got a good video. Today we're gonna be reacting to new main and you know, his Q&A on YouTube. It's gonna be Liddy. Like, this has got to be a character, right? This isn't a real human. Maybe I just haven't been to enough frats. It sounds like he's just perpetually trying to seduce someone. And it's just not going well. What is your favorite food? It's definitely a fruit. A lot of fruits, man. I love fruit. And, um... Avocado, hands down, yeah. I could eat 10 avocados every day and just not get bored. <laughs> what is your favorite? I could eat 10 papayas in a day and not get bored. <laughs> Dare I say it? His vibes? Whack! When you were younger, did you expect to be famous or well-known? Um, I would not call myself famous. Absolutely not. By no means. Well-known? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Not everyone wants to be famous as a kid. I mean, come on, let's not kid ourselves. But, dude, I think this is just the beginning. You know, I think there's a lot more, a lot more shit coming. Yeah, I'm really stoked to see what's coming from him. Looking forward to maybe a Dark New Main. A shot-for-shot -shot remake of The Dark Knight, except with New Main playing Batman. And Joker and Commissioner Gordon, and Alfred, and Lucius, and Two-Face, and every side character, the rat in the sewer. What do your friends in real life think of your success? Yeah, bro, they support me, they love what I'm doing, and honestly, like, bro, it's amazing to see it. And I, I tell them all the time, bro, like, you can do this shit too. You as well, man, like, anyone can do it. Just get a camera, get a phone, you got an iPhone, 100%. Post some fucking TikToks, man. Like, you can change your life in a couple of months. I wonder how the interactions between him and his friends are. Like, what... I wonder how big the ego has become. Hey, man, how you doing? Uh, it's cool that your TikToks were blowing up. I, I saw people saying, like, you stole them, though, which is weird. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, you know, they be hating, they be hating on me. Uh, hey, man, you should post some TikToks, dog. Nah, I'm okay. Nah, 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 for real. For real, though, change your life. It will change your life like me. No, no, really, it's okay. I'm, you know, I got the engineering job, so I'm making 200000 a year. I'm good on that end. How much did you make from the creator fund? Uh, you know, you know, I don't want to get into the detail. I don't want to flex, you know. I made $52 over the course of a month. Wow, okay, that's good. I guess I'll give you a little fist bump for that uh, one. Thank nice. you. Nice. Thank you for that. Peasant. What'd you say? What? Do you smoke bud? <laughs> 
this guy's cool. You know, he didn't answer it directly, but we can infer. <laughs> Do I smoke, bud? Uh, what? Nah, duh. Stop it. Uh, oh, man. If, if he gets a hold of a mic, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I'm the time I'll smoke the bud. You know how it is. You know how I roll. I actually own 17 pairs of the same sunglasses. Yeah, I could go on and ask more questions to myself, but I'm going to see how this goes. Because YouTube, man, like... Okay, okay. Now, here's where we get into the stuff that I think is very revealing about the, like I said, the mindset that he has going into creating content. Just hear what he has to say here. YouTube, man, like this is different. It takes much more time to make a YouTube video than it does to like make a little fucking TikTok. You know what I mean? It takes five, 10 minutes sometimes to make a TikTok, 10 million views. And YouTube, you take like three hours, two hours making it and shit. And it gets like 20,000, 30,000, you know what I mean? It's like, what? Um. Yeah, it just doesn't care about the quality of anything. The only thing that matters is the number. That's it. It's the only thing. Bro, if you want to make this stuff, the mindset shouldn't be, you know, five, ten minutes, boom, posted, a couple million views. That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing that you didn't spend a lot of time on stuff and a lot of people watched it. And then almost complaining about the fact that you had to put a lot of time into like a YouTube video and it only getting like 20,000 views. 20,000 is a lot of views, okay? Like, I don't understand how you can have a career creating content and creating creative stuff if you don't care about what you're creating at all. It just, it's not gonna work out. But this social media stuff, man, it's, I love to do it, you know, and I genuinely believe this is what I was meant to do, bro, and I'm gonna keep doing it. Even with the haters, you know, just, just keep on screaming in my ear, trying to get me to stop and just give up. Bro, you can't, you can't listen to these guys, bro. And you guys out there too, creating content. All right, look, these haters are not trying to, you know, get you to stop necessarily. <laughs> I guess I might fall into the hater category. Uh, but what we're trying to say is, yo, don't steal people's stuff, man. Don't steal his stuff. Make up your own, you know, creative things. That might be the main criteria to making content is that you are creative and can come up with your own stuff. But, you know, it's coming from a hater, so don't, don't listen to me. These people that hate, just don't listen, bro. They're always going to be there. There's always going to be that person that just doesn't want you to win and succeed, bro. But yeah, my people, uh, appreciate y'all again stopping by. You know, this was fun. <laughs> the only bad part is editing. It's like, damn, what? You guys take it easy. Take it easy, everyone. Ah, oh, now I gotta edit this. Complaining about the editing on his first YouTube video. Not a good move. <laughs> okay, so that was fun. Let's watch another one. The truth about TikTok fame. Oh yeah, he never even, that was just a clickbait title, why I'm quitting social media. It wasn't even any semblance of a response in that video to the question presented in the title. So the truth about TikTok fame, probably not gonna get an answer to that one. Or he's probably gonna talk about the haters more is what's gonna happen. This person asked, what is it like being TikTok famous? <laughs> I mean, bro, you want me to be completely honest with you? Uh, is is this a bit? Come on. This man is acting like Matthew McConaughey or, or something because he got a few million followers on TikTok. He thinks he's the absolute man right now. He's acting like he just gave the performance of a lifetime in Interstellar. He's acting like a legend in the industry three months in. What's happening, YouTube? Uh, hope you're having a fantastic day, night, whatever time of day it is for you right now. Hey, we're going to do another one of those uh, Q&A videos. Those are easy, fun, and um, yeah, convenient. Okay, that's good. I'm glad the Q&A videos are easy and fun and convenient because you wouldn't want to have to work hard on a YouTube video. Ugh. Who would ever suggest that? Who said it? Who said I had to work hard on a YouTube video? You, you're fired. Uh, do you believe in astrology? Uh, kinda, sorta. I'm, a, I'm an Aquarius and a lot of the shit does match. He's an Aquarius and a lot of it does match. Let's look up. Y you know, I'm not, I'm not about that astrology game, but let's just look it up and see what we find. This fixed sign is born in the middle of winter, January 20th to February 18th. Think of them as Sansa Stark from the Zodiac Wheel, because Aquarius traits include being fearless, independent, strong, leaders, and well, very badass to say the least. Yeah, of course he thinks it matches. <laughs> he definitely was talking to some girl about it and he was like, nah, that's a bunch of BS. Let me look up mine and then saw it was like, leader? Badass? Strong? 
yo, this matches me perfectly. Astrology, it's crazy, man. How do you deal with haters in your comments? <laughs> Yo, dude, it's it's what I signed up for, homie. Just chase the bag. That's all you gotta do. Don't pay attention to these fucking fools, bro. I'm telling you, bro, they're all little ass kids. The people that comment hate on videos, they're 12 years old. Nah. Nah. That's just not true. Also, what a response to that, you know? Hey, how do you feel about the haters? Ah, screw them. Chase the bag, dog. Just solidifying that the bag is the only focus on this which i guess is true for a lot of people <laughs> creating content but you know i mean bro right here dog right here <laughs> oh psych i want quarter the kid man because you know i want to try this youtube thing out as well i don't want to just be the tiktok guy or the instagram guy i want to be all over the fucking place bro you know because why not i want to yeah, i want to eat you want to eat as in eat up the industry what are you going to be consuming i don't yeah, man, I want to eat. What? <laughs> man, all my homies, bro. If you are like young, 20s, you know, 18, bro, start posting content, man. I don't care if it's copied or not. TikTok, everything's fucking copied, bro. <laughs> you just got to give credit. And that's where I fucked up a little bit. I didn't give credit in the early stages of my TikTok, but like. Oh. A little bit of acknowledgement there. Uh, but still giving credit wouldn't, uh, you know, help you because you literally copy pasted everything. But maybe a little self-awareness we're getting a l just a little bit. Now I know, you know, people get on your shit, I guess. Well, at least my shit. But everyone, everyone else can, you know, take videos and not credit. It's all good. But when I don't credit, people go fucking crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. I do think people that attacked him directly with all the frustration of everyone copying content and just put on him because it was so clear that he was doing it and he was doing it so consistently and, and he became the face for like copying content on TikTok. And it's true that a ton of people do it and maybe there's somewhat of a point of him being like, yo, why are you all coming after me? There's plenty of other people doing it. I don't know why it's directed towards me, but at, he had that beautiful live stream where he said, who, who cares? I'm doing it better. I'm an actor. Give me a script, I'll nail it. I'm not a writer. I'm not a fucking storyteller. You give me a script, I will fucking nail that shit. And I'm not gonna think of it, no. But I'm gonna make yours better. Or make yours, you know what I mean, good. Like, your shit is probably not as good, and that's why it's not performing well. Basically just handled the whole situation like a douchebag, which warranted even more of this hate, which I think he deserved. You know, so I think he deserved everything he's gotten so far. So I guess he doesn't really have a point. He just handled all like the hate that he was getting for copying content in such a bad way, which induced even more hate. So it's all self-inflicted, really. If you just didn't copy anyone, it would have been fine. You would have been fine. Definitely going to start getting consistent on this YouTube thing. At least I hope so, because, bro, like YouTube's here to stay, man. Like this thing is never going to go away. I truly don't believe unless something like decentralized comes by, you know what I mean? It sweeps away cryptocurrency, man. Oh, I love it. That's all. Literally, my life savings is in, bro. I think the dollar is shit. I truly do. They're printing infinite amount of money day after day after day. And you don't expect anything to happen to the dollar. Come on now. Buy your Bitcoin. Buy your Cardano. Bitcoin's too high. Buy Cardano. I'm not a financial advisor by all means, but I do know one thing. Cardano is gonna win, bro. If you don't know anything about Cardano, the cryptocurrency, woo, read up on that shit, bro. <laughs> I'm, I should have expected cryptocurrency was gonna be the, in there in some way. The transition to it though, that was special. That was something special, ready? YouTube's here to stay, man. Like, this thing is never gonna go away. I truly don't believe. Unless something, like, decentralized comes by, you know what I mean? It sweeps away. Cryptocurrency, man. Bro, what is he talking about? A decentralized YouTube? And then hard cut to cryptocurrency? He just threw that word in there so he could go to crypto. Unless there's, like, a decentralization of the chair industry, I don't- Crypto, man, it's crazy. Life savings in crypto, dog. Life savings. Your life savings in cryptocurrency? Look, I'm not a financial advisor, but there's this really cool word. 
It's called Diversify. Yeah, man, when I saw Dogecoin hit 63 cents, I literally moved everything I own into it. Now, what's it out now? Let's check it out now. Dude, probably tripled my money by now. Probably tripled it. It's at 64 cents. That's actually kind of un unfortunate. I thought it was gonna go down and then the joke was gonna be, oh, I lost a bunch of money in Dogecoin, but I guess Newmain made a smart financial decision. <laughs> and then he goes on a little rant about Cardano. Thank you, new main. I was I was wondering, but yeah, the main reason why I wanted to make this video was just to talk about like the, the little stuff he says and his approach to making content, which I think it, it makes it even more understandable why he was copying content just because he doesn't care. He doesn't care. But yeah, new main, Kane, if you're watching, shoot me a little DM on Instagram. I would love to talk to you literally just talk to you, maybe make a video about it. I think it'd be cool because I'm interested in some things. Um, but you know, I think it might make a fun little video. We could we could have a little collab. You could be my first collab. That would be exciting. Uh, but yeah, if you watched all the way through, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day.